come onto my job and spotted a lot of these beetles around. Customer says they're forever just brushing them up and throwing them out. So if you ever see any of these, you've got a problem. So these are furniture beetles, woodworm. Oh, well, there's the evidence. The beetle was one thing. My customer did say that they're just probably coming in from outside. But no, I had to have a look around because looking at the beetle, knowing what it was, then it's not just flying in. Um, these things are coming out of woodwork when they become adults and then they're just taking flight, find a mate and that cycle goes all over again. Lay the eggs in the wood, the larvae will feed in the wood and then when they reach adulthood, they're off again. So I did um, you know, question her a little bit more and generally this time of year, when it gets a bit warmer, she notices them a lot more. So they are there, they're in the woodwork. So you can find some more. More. Oh, it's not good this. I mean this is an infestation. This is all over the ceiling. On these shelf brackets. This side seems to be fine. We're on this other side. Absolutely peppered. Not a good sight that. Um, really there's not much you can do. Um, better to get rid of something like that. Take it out and burn it. Um, there are a few different processes you can go through. Um, the better one is prevention. By far the best. Um, a good insecticide. Stop wood boring beetles. Uh, pressure treated if possible. The chances are that that other bracket is heartwood and this is possibly sapwood. Um, just closer to the outside of the log. Now, generally, you shouldn't get this in dry buildings. So there is possibly an issue with damp, high humidity. I say shouldn't happen in dry timber that really. Any previously painted wood varnished or stained needs to be stripped back and treated as burr wood, new wood. Any wood that you bring in into the property to replace then all this needs treating. So what I'm using is this woodworm killer. It's a low odor one, so it'd be good indoors, but still you need to follow precautions. So good ventilation, good pair of gloves, eye protection and a good mask. Even disposable overalls if you're doing lots of this. So I've got a natural bristle brush and a small amount in a plastic pot there. And it is literally just rub it in, giving it a thorough soaking. End grains, all edges, whether it's front to back, just all of the wood, thoroughly salt, and do this two or three times, I'm going to be quite liberal with it, just 
keep repeating that. This won't necessarily kill the beetle because the beetle's already on the wing. You'll have to deal with that separately, you know, a fly swatter or a fly spray. But this will stop the reinfestation, stop them larvae from developing again.